What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Boss Grow Info. If you don't know what it is, look, man, if you made it to this channel, you're here watching this video, man, do me a big, 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 big favor, real quick, before I get started. And go right up under this screen, go up under the video, and find a little thumbs up button. Go ahead, click that for me, real quick. Go ahead, click that like button for me. I like this video. Man, support the channel and if you're not a subscriber man do me a real big 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 favor huge favor man if you're not a subscriber go down there right next to that thumbs up and find that little red flag next to that thumbs up and click that red flag man click that red flag so you can become a subscriber man help me reach my goal man we almost there at a thousand subscribers so i'm getting ready to set a new goal two thousand subscribers look man i'm talking too much already let me go ahead, before we get started into this episode, y'all go ahead and get your bongs, your blunts, your lighters, your dabs, your papers, your pipes, your pens, whatever you got to smoke, man. Y'all, let's get ready for this episode of Keeping It Simple right here. Let's go. We're going to start it off right here in the seedling stage, man. This is what we're doing. This is a BT7 from DNA Genetics, Crockett Family Farms, Reserva Parada, Reserva Parada, whatever it's called, man. It's one of their special... Uh, uh, strains man, it's a BT7 banana tangy crossed with OG number 18. Yeah, it's gas. I grew this before. If y'all was watching the channel before, it turned out that it was came to uh, actually grew out to be some gas. Yeah, that's right. BT7, that's the name of it. Banana tangy crossed with OG number 18. Yeah, it's gas. And we got a few of those popping. We got a few of those popping right there. We're gonna wait on these up here. But back down here, we got the, if he's watching last week, we still got the um, fritter glitters, those green ones. Those are fritter glitters. All those ones standing up right now. Seedling stage, they've been out here for about two, about two weeks. Going on to three. We're going to keep them in here for another two to three weeks before we transplant them. And now you see these right here, these ones that say PBC, 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 PBC. We planted those yesterday, a couple days ago, and this is a new kind. That's what it is right there, punch berry cookies. Flower time, nine weeks. This is from Ethos, man. Go ahead and scan that if y'all want to scan that. Find out where y'all can get that. Give y'all a second to do that. But anyway, we back here in the seedling stage, and we're going to let these seedlings go and grow up. We've also just planted 15 more, uh, not punchberry cookies, but the end game reverse back cross with the punch line. Y'all didn't get all that. Here you go. This is what it is right there. End game reverse back cross punch line, eight to nine weeks. You know, no scanner on that one. That's cool. Whatever it is. We're going to run these. We got 15 of those running next to some BT7, next to some Fritter Glitters. And our seedling stage set up. So we're going to keep these running over here for about a month until they get ready to pop up. Three to four weeks, whatever comes first. Or until they start touching the light up there. The ceiling. See, they're almost getting close. So we'll take them out and transplant them when they do that. But other than that, let's keep down here the biz. Exotic genetics, the biz. We got five of those babies growing up. And over there we got some wet beddies and some velvet heats. Those ain't ready to be transplanted yet. Almost. They're getting a little tall. As soon as I top them, I'm gonna transplant those. But we're gonna move it on over here to all these wet beddies that I got planted. I'm not gonna lie, I'll tell y'all the truth. Some of them look bad because I stunted them. Uh, forgot to let off the recharge. They were getting overfed due to the microbial activity breaking them down the, the fertilizer in there so much to where they were eating too fast. So I just had to give them some regular water, lay up off the recharge, hit them with that, you know, every once in a while when they look like they need it. Not every, every water. <clears throat> too much kelp in it. The kelp is actually a, a, a natural PGR, natural plant growth regulator, not, you know what I'm saying, man-made. So putting too much kelp in there will cause the plants to uh, show like, mm, I don't know, like genetic traits or defects. 
pushing them too much. You kind of grow retarded or dysfunctional a little bit. So we're going to lay off the kelp, just give them water for a few days. This isn't veg. We'll let them recover. But we're also going to plant some more seeds and do those the right way. However many we got of these, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got about 20 of these right here. 20 plants in here right here, a wet Betty. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just water these. Not They don't need water now. When they do need water, we're just gonna give them regular water. You know what I'm saying? And keep it fresh down there. Keep the soil simple down there. Put a little uh, rosemary in there or whatever you got to keep the bugs and pests out while they're growing and recovering. Other than that, we're just gonna leave them alone, man. Let's get to the flower room. Here we go, it's day one. I just put this in here. This is a white wedding. It looks terrible. I stunted this too. Look, we made grow mistakes over here. I stunted it, got too excited, was worried about other stuff. That one, she's looking all right, not too great. And then we got a French cookies right there. They're looking all right. This is not the tent that was looking good last week. I'm, I'm actually ashamed to show this tent, but we got to show the defects, the mistakes, so you guys know what not to do. Do not overwater and stunt your plants like I did these three right here. What you want your plants to look like is not these three because this is what stunted plants look like. This is what overwater, overfed plants look like. This is not what you want. I don't even know why I did that, but I did it. I guess I did it to show y'all what not to do. Here, let me show y'all better look. See the light green leaves in there? Has fading out light green that's because they're getting over for they're eating too fast see this one looks like it wanted to grow could have been a lot bigger than it is it's got stunted too much water or too much fertilizer even. too much of something you just got to back off when you're growing organically and naturally keeping it simple you really have to keep it simple too much of anything is not keeping it simple see this one over here same thing fed too much causes nutrient deficiencies when you start feeding too much starts locking out nutrients what we're gonna do we're gonna skip this tent because this is what they shouldn't like look like and this is what they should look like this is week one of flower this is week one those leaves don't worry about those leaves back there i want you to notice the tent how stretched out the plant if you go back to the last video you'll see now you can't even see the really the floor print in here because the leaves are covering up everything branches are stretched out this is only three plants and this is what the tent should look like non studded plants ready to grow ready to go and flower I put those other stunted plants in flower because I want to there's a special episode showing you about male plants I'm going to show you we caught a male plant in the garden these are white weddings from Ethos. I think it's one French cookies in here in the middle. But these are white weddings. We're gonna let these babies grow nine weeks. We're gonna keep it simple. It's only week one. And this is what it looks like in week one. After seven days. And what we're gonna do gonna show you two weeks of what a male plant looks like how to identify male plants in your garden this is the first time we've ever had a male plant uh, popped up in my garden because I only grow females I only grow female seeds feminized seeds but planting uh, freebie seeds we got one ethos genetics dozen roses turn out to be a male let's go check that out here we are. This is my two by two with the uh, uh, Daxon LED light up there. You guys are asking me how this worked in a review. Look, this Daxon LED light, I got it turned on 80%. And if you go back and look at the last video, when I put this plant in here, this is what it looks like now. It's stretched out, so that's how good the light works. It's been working good so far, I haven't had any problems with it only problem I did have with this light and this tent is that when I put this plant in here you can see when I started off see these little these little balls down there little ball sacks 
those are pollen sacks. Those are nut sacks. Those are balls. Like, like on a man. Look, let's go look at another branch. You see that? Those are supposed to be pistols. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, you see that right there? Those are nut sacks. They got nut in them. Whole bunch of weed cum. Male weed cum all up in that jizz. All the jizz. So what we're going to do with this dozen roses, that's what it is. In the two by two, D Rose. We're gonna thrash this girl. We're gonna trash it. And I wish we didn't have to. Look how look how he started to grow. He started to stretch out, feel the tent up. He's growing nice. Look, he's even getting tall. See how tall he was getting? You go back and look at the other tents. It wasn't like that a few weeks ago. But now, you see those sacks on there. Uh, let me get in there so y'all can see this too. This is a male, this is what a male flower will look like. If you get this in your garden, you are not gonna be able to smoke this. Now, it is a benefit that you can use for this. Hemp fibers, and you can get the pollen and you want to become a breeder, you can start trying to breed your cannabis breed with the male pollen. But you will get male and female seeds. 50-50, there'll be regular seeds that you produce. Out of those, you can select the uh, females. You have to grow them out and see which ones are males and females. But after you do that and you figure out which ones are males and females, you can keep all your females reuse those, pollinate those with each other, and you can have your own strand. This is the last plant I got in flower. Deep is in flowers two weeks right now. Until we get the other ones taken care of. But right now today, we're just talking about these male plants in this garden. Cause we're gonna have to chop this whole beautiful plant down. Too bad it's a male. I don't like guys, I only like women. I, I only like being around women. I don't like being around a room full of men. So what I'm about to do is chop this this man down and put a woman in here. Maybe two or three women in here. Female plants. That's what I like. Look, man. If y'all stay here and I help y'all keeping it simple and you'll grow, man, do me a big favor. Thumbs up this video. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Help me reach my goals. So go ahead and support the channel, man. YouTube, man. Help support these YouTube channels so I can keep this popping, man, every week, man. Y'all go ahead. Y'all can have a good day. Smoke that blunt. Smoke that joint. And we out, man. Peace. Much love.